DNA. DNA. DNA on demand. Poor DJ Wild Shout DNA 66. You know where it is. DNA on demand. And as always, special guests in the building. Another crazy day. Um, the show has been crazy so far. We got a lot of music on deck, a lot of exclusive shit, a lot of news, all that. But right now, like I said, special guests in the building. Mika's own is here. I'm sorry, DC's own. Mika is here. That's right. <laughs> See, I, Mika. I, I, I've known I've known her for a little while, so I call her Mika's own. <laughs> Mika, what up, baby? What's up? What's going on? Hey, now, how you doing? I'm good. Awake for once, but I'm good. Yeah, you've been working. Too much. Been working. Never enough. So, so um, let's get straight to it. Like you, I've been seeing you um, maneuver through the city of DC, um, and I see you uh, making moves in other cities. I see um, you, you got the new single out doing, doing numbers. So um, before we get to that, I want you to give people a little background on who Mika is, where Mika's from, and, and how you got started in this, in this game. Okay, so um, again, my name is Mika. I'm from Washington, DC. Um, I've pretty much been in music my whole life. My dad was a musician. My dad was a recording artist back in the 90s. Um, so that's where I kind of get, well, that's where I get all my musical talents from. My dad taught me, you know, how to play instruments. I was in a band, all that good stuff. Long story short, um, two years ago, I just really, really, really started to take it really serious. And okay. here I am. But so, so you sing and, and you rap, correct? I sing and I rap. Okay, because I know and you, produce. And you also produce. Yes. Oh, that's dope. So, um, so I know you, uh, you've been with a band, the Experience Band, is that correct? Mm-hmm. So you you sing with them, or is yeah. you singing and rapping with them also? I, both. Okay. I do. We do like originals and we do covers. Okay. So how how long you been with been with the band? Only really, um, really being with them probably about a year, but we've been performing together for like the past two years. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, so what? Like they just they finally yeah. made, made you an official member. Or yeah. <laughs> okay. But but you start as a, a um a solo artist from the beginning. Yes, okay. I've always been a solo artist. Okay. So what made you want to say? Okay, well maybe I want to rock with this band. Then. Um, just because anytime they needed, you know, that female performer, whether rapping or singing, I would help out. And then anytime I wanted that live feel, they would help out. So we kind of worked it that way. And then we were just like, we just might as well do it. So, all together so you okay working with the with, with the band because i know it's like um when you're working with a lot of people it's a lot of personalities yeah you know, i'm i'm, I'm kind of dealing with that right now like where as you know sometimes they're mad at me because i don't you know i don't always get to do all the stuff with the band because i got mika stuff and right. then you know but um I, I pretty much i try to work through that you know but we just you know i, I get in where i fit in I'm pretty much all over the spectrum because I'm a musician, so I like doing everything. So that, that's going to be my, my next my next question. Like, how do you um balance that? Because that's a balance in that, like, yeah, like yeah. So when I'm not doing Mika stuff, I literally go and do stuff with the band. So you keeping your schedule full? It's always full. Okay, okay. <laughs> so um, the new the new single, Mama. Yeah. So let's talk about like uh, concept. Where that come from? So, um, I'm a big cash money fan. Okay. And um got that one New Orleans of, bounce. I love it. And the the concept of the song, um, you know, just basically came from one of my favorite uh juvenile songs, mm-hmm. uh, which is Get It From My Mama. Okay. But I didn't wanna just take the song and just do like a corny do over of the song right, right, so right. i actually came up with my own concept and i just took elements from the song and made a whole new beat okay and that's how i came up with but, it and it's crazy because when i first heard it, i said yes yeah, you got a nice little um new orleans bounce and i like as a dj i like it because you know yeah. we can we can kind of squeeze it in with with a lot of shit that's going on right now especially mm-hmm. with um you know it's a lot of bounce music with a lot of artists that's out right now but um but it still has that special feeling you know we you know you came out to the club in baltimore um we rocked it and like even the initial reaction was was crazy i i was i was really like i was so happy about that because i was looking at i was looking at a lot of the girls and you know the initial thing is you know if they don't know a song they just listen and yeah, i started yeah, yeah. saying this i was like okay thank god yeah i mean so. like i said <laughs> it fits right in because that's that's the problem now um, a lot of um up-and-coming artists make they, they put they do these songs and then they want the DJs to play these songs, but the song is just like so off from everything that's out there. 
Yeah, and I think it's because a lot of artists don't um, they don't study the craft of like okay, you got to understand what's the you know the BPMs that's in right now. You know, like a while ago it was you know EDM, so you would you would have had different BPMs, and now it's trap. So right, right, right. you just gotta you know understand that, and then you make your stuff around that. But a lot of people they just in their own heads, so they, they just make what they want to yeah, hear. They're not studying the landscape of the game, right? But, but like you definitely got something special with that. Um, and then the video. Let's talk about the video. Because the video is like, um, hey, fellas, if y'all ain't seen this video, you might want to see this video. There's a whole lot of ass in this video. I'm just going to put that out there. But um, so so it's like, y'all, in a gym, like, I mean, uh, it's, a, it's a gym, right? Yeah, it's a gym. Okay, okay. It's a gym. So um, basically, because I like, you know, I'm really, really, really into fitness and everything. Okay. I wanted to um, kind of recreate... Uh, similarity to one of my favorite movies perfect and um it's it's an old, 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 old i was saying i ain't even heard it yeah it's, it's got it's thing. got john travolta and it, but it, it's based around like it just guys in the gym with you know some girls or whatever he's trying to get the shit but sounds, nevertheless sounds i wanted i wanted to like recreate that and i didn't want to make a video because the song of course is you know basically twerk song but i didn't want to just have twerking okay. so I was like, okay, I need to make this all elements. I need twerking. I need comedy. I need concepts. And so that's what I came up with. So, and so you wrote the treatment for the. For I the, wrote the treatment. Okay. Um, I did the I did the directing along with uh, versus visuals. And um, yeah, so I'm in front of the camera. I'm outside the camera. I'm telling you know girls where to stand. Um, I came up with the idea of dancing on a treadmill okay. and we were at the gym practicing that a couple okay. times, falling and everything so, before so, we got that right. <laughs> so who did the choreography for it? Um, so her name is De Destiny. Okay. Um, she's officially Des on Instagram. Say, if you did that too, goddamn, you do everything. No, well, she did. She did the choreography. Um, I just came up with where and how I wanted the choreography. Okay. So I came up with the ideas about the treadmills and dancing and how to jump on and off. But she actually did the choreography. So, so you really hands on directed your the whole joint. Yes, I I I did the I do all of my actually any video that you see. On um, social media, I okay. literally wrote the treatment for all of them. Okay. So nice, nice, nice. So what what made you? Um, I mean, I know you say say your father your father um, inspired you young, mm -hmm. but like what made you say? Because you know, as a musician, you know, growing up with musicians, like you could have did anything. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't have to be. You didn't have to go the um, hip hop route. But what made you decide hip hop is I right, the way I want to go? Um, honestly, I just like. I like all music and okay. I'm I'm a fan of popular music period. And it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's uh whatever is the thing at the moment but with hip hop my dad was really really into hip hop cuz like I said he was really um you know uh doing stuff in the 90s. So 90s was like hip hop golden era. Yep. So I would you know hear him listen to a lot of hip hop songs and things like that. And then when I finally started um, listening to music outside of uh, country music, um, I really got into hip hop, which oh, was so, like so I say, you was listening to country music. Yes. Okay. Yes. That that's if you if you're a writer, country so music K. is where it's at. No, no. I grew up listening to country. I grew up, I grew up in my grandparents' household, so I grew up listening to country music. So who are your top five country artists? Oh man, uh, probably Keith Urban. Uh, I'm probably gonna say Carrie Underwood. Okay. Um. I don't know one song by Keith Urban. Hootie and the Blowfish. They consider country. Yeah, so they consider like rock country, okay. kind of like. I didn't um, know they were considered country. Shania Twain. Okay. Oh yeah, I can go down the list. Okay, <laughs> okay you got a few. That's what's up. And on the hip hop side, like who 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 uh, who are your inspiration as far as artists, whether it's current or past? Um. So my favorite artist in hip hop would probably be Juvenile. Okay. Like I love for like I can listen to 400 degrees over and over and over and over again. Okay. Like I think it's lyrically slept on, and I, I don't. But I don't know why. Like a lot, a lot more people don't talk about it when they talk about, you know, classic Be, hip hop records. Because because it's um it's southern bass and a lot of the southern bass out albums outside of Outkast get overlooked. I mean that's just the reality of it. I, it's, I it's agree. A lot I of agree. Dope ass shit. 
I agree. There's a lot of dope ass um, Southern hip hop albums that are classics. I agree, but, and that's uh, one four, of them. Four, yeah, definitely. Four hundred degrees. Like, that's by far it. probably my favorite Cash Money record. I, I mean, the I intro that comes in alone, yeah. by itself is yeah. just dope. But you know, so that that's that's one of my like my main uh, people, Juvenile. Have Have you got a chance to meet Juve yet? No, I have not. Great dude. I man, dude. like there's there's only a couple people. I will fan out about Juvenile and Lil' Kim. Yeah, that's crazy because Juvie is a great dude and he's humble as shit. Yeah. Down to earth. Yeah, humble as shit. Like when, um, I'll tell you real quick, real quick story. Um, I met him whew, some years ago. I'm not going to put a date on it. It's, it was a while <laughs> back. And um, I met him in New York and then I told him, he's like, yeah, I'm going to be in Baltimore next week. Mm-hmm. I was like, cool. When you come to Baltimore, hit me up. I want you to come through the studio, do a freestyle for me. This motherfucker pulled, like now, the, the studio is on this little small, narrow-ass street. This motherfucker pulls a whole, whole tour bus up and blocks off the whole goddamn street. <laughs> <laughs> Came, knocked out the freestyle. Cool, cool-ass dude. And the shit was dope, too. Yeah, but, I, um, every time I, I talk about that, like, just straight humble. So, um, like, if if he's in the area, I'll definitely try to. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's, oh, that's, yeah. Because, like, sure. I, I'm like, oh, my God, if Juvenile hear this, I'm like... The, like I would love him to be like yo I, I kind of hear my song in there. yeah right. yes right, right, right. yes because it's a big so, influence but outside of Juvie anybody else um outside of that it will probably be um I, I know this is another rapper that doesn't really get the recognition of you know lyrics or whatever but outside of that will probably be Nelly because I really like how um Nelly changed you know the 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 course of hip hop to where you can grandma. right right like it was just it was just very different and different, I right. me I I'm I'm liking you know uh, people who come with a different flavor and my favorite probably my favorite of all time would probably be Missy Elliott okay okay so you like you like um, a lot of artists that have the real strong party vibe which is dope yeah but I I like I like lyrical content I like uh, party vibes and I like um, I like creativity. Okay, so with the um because right now it's probably like one of the biggest times for female artists period in history of, in the history of hip hop. Um, you got more female artists out there than you can count. When when I was coming up, it was five at a time tops. I don't know. I mean, I mean, this is before my time, but you 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 probably had like, I, I mean, if well, you look at older stuff, you can do like you know. Brandy had like all those female rappers yeah, on that's her what I'm stuff. Saying, but and out of out of all the artists that were out at that time, mm-hmm. only five of them were hot at the time. Is what I'm okay. Saying. So like you had Lil Kim, Foxy Brown, and Missy. I'm trying to think who else was hot in Rod Digger. That's who was hot in that era. Yeah, I like Rod Digger. We was just talking about Rod Digger the other day. Um, shit, that, what's that party and bull? Yeah. Yeah. That was I mean, a dope I mean, there, song. There, there are other artists, but other female artists, but they got like Bahamidi and a lot of um, Miss J, but they got more slept on. They weren't the ones that people were really, you know, that got the notoriety. So, right. so, but, but now, like, now is like the biggest time for female artists, like, ever, I, I would say, because like the female artists are actually doing better than the male artists, making better music. They're actually rapping. Um, and that's because so, they got to. No, no, we, 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 we cannot, we cannot say, we cannot say, Bill Belichick. We cannot say that. No, and I love that song, but no. Well, I, I think, I think if a female can finesse it the right way, they can get away with it. But I don't want to hear it. I still don't want to hear. So, so, um, so, what, what do you, um, what's, what's your take on the the movement right now with females in, in, in the music industry period i mean i really honestly i really love it the only thing um i would like to see more of is and it's not that it's not there i would like to see um just all in the forefront all diversity okay like um with my music i like sometimes to just be lyrical and then i like sometimes just to shake my ass Right. It just really depends. Right. But I don't... Sometimes I think that only one side gets pushed the most. 
So and that's with hip hop because you know in, in other genres, you know, uh, with R and B and things like that, you can talk about whatever, and everybody is seen from you know the eclectic person all the way to the sexiest person. Right, 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 right. So, so what you you have a um, EP coming out, correct? Mm-hmm. So, with you have having the EP coming out, what what can we expect on on your EP? So, my EP is going to be named um, New Girl New Girl Order. Okay. And the reason why I named it that is because I wanted to show girls that, you know, there there there's no order in how females should have to do music. So on my EP, there's going to be um, I'm singing. Uh, I have rapping songs. I have um, I'm, I'm going to have Afro Afro beats. I'm going to have Latin trap. You know, to showcase my Latin side. So to get all the money. Oh, I want all the money. I want all the money. Okay. On the moolah, the nero, hey. I want it all. Hey. <laughs> so, so um, do you speak other languages? Yes. So, um, unfortunately, because, you know, I didn't have anybody else to speak to other than my grandfather. My first language was a Slavic language. Language Was what? Slavic. So my okay, grandfather. What, what is Slavic? It, <laughs> it's a language in the in the nomadic region of of Europe. So okay. um, she gonna make me go meet reason more. <laughs> so my grand my grandfather is Polish. So uh, you know he taught me he taught me Slavic and a little bit of French, and um, but again trying to fit it in school whatever I really didn't want to. I really didn't want to talk like that because right. it was already a uh, outside norm with you know going up in a mixed race household and so I'm just trying to you know fit in. Um, but uh, English and then uh, I speak basic Spanish. Okay. So, so yeah. so you speak Slavic and you speak Spanish. Now I've never uh, I don't think we have any Slavic rappers right out there. Do we? I don't know. Because well, you, not, not, you'd be not, surprised. Not, There's not, a lot in Europe. Not, a well, lot not in the U.S. Nah. And nobody that has a number one single or a top Billboard single, period. Nah. Not that I, that's not that I know of. Like, so I'm going to just know. say not that I know of. Okay. Nah. So, so. Yeah, I'm trying to, like, literally on so my, on have, my album, like, I'm you, literally you trying to. Slavic songs and. I, I, I'm, this is I'm, real tr- I'm trying it. I'm trying it. Somebody said something about the polka the other day. What? The polka. It's a it's a dance. Okay. It's, it's a European dance. Okay. And I was like, you know, what, I can what? put that in there with my Afro Cuban stuff. And yeah, I can do what, it. What is the polka? How's that go? It's it's a dance. It's like oh, it's yeah. it, it's almost like a it's almost like a line. It's almost like a line dance. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. But you gotta you gotta do a little bouncing and some stuff like that. It's got a little rhythm. It's got a little. Okay, it's not like a swag surf or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure. Like I've never heard nah. of this shit. Nah, it's, it's 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 dope. It's dope. You get you a little, you know, get you a little skirt and some high heels. You, you okay. can do it. Okay, so we 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 can spec on something for y'all to do the poker to on this on this new EP. You gonna make me do it? I will. I will literally put. Shit. I will literally I mean, put a video if, doing it. If this gonna make a billion people love you, fuck it, do it. <laughs> I, that's my advice. Do it. I mean, because because that's one one thing I will say. Um, that with hip hop is a really um, mimicky business. Right. So artists start doing something, then everybody else start doing something. But if you're yeah. the first one to do it, you struck gold. Yeah, you, you I mean, as I long mean, as you do it right, yeah, you do it right. Yeah, yeah, that's and that, and that's what I try to do. Even with you know my my visuals, I try to showcase and do something different. Like I haven't seen any girls jumping over twi- uh, treadmills, twerking, right. and all this other stuff, and yeah, actually was, having choreography. So I was like, that'll be unique. different. Definitely, definitely, definitely. You're pretty much a triple threat because you say you um, you wrote the treatment, you directed the song. Um, I'm sure you, you write your own songs. Yes. And you say you also produce. Yes. That, that's that's triple threat right there. Yes. And you um you had a single before this one. Um, what was it? Sign, sign, signals. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, let's talk about that one real quick because mm-hmm. um that one. How long ago was did that come out? That so was? I put that out in July. Okay. Yeah, so both of both of the sing, um, singles have only been out. Uh, well, this one has only been like like, like six weeks, okay. Mama, and Signals has only been out since July. Okay, and they're both just doing extremely good. Like I didn't expect the response that I got. So are these your first singles that you put out? These are my first uh, like professional singles that I actually pushed. Okay, I've put out like a year ago. I put out um, this single called uh, Afghanistan, okay. and it got. It got really, really, really good response. You know, um, it was pretty much like a hip hop and EDM based. Nice. Um, and I shot the video up in Baltimore, up in um, the graffiti warehouse. Okay. 
So it, it was it was definitely dope, and I got a very good response from it. So that's what kind of catapulted everything else. So, dope. so are you are you looking um, long term goal? Are you looking to um, stay independent? Are you looking for um, a, a label situation? Um, I'm pretty much. I'm pretty much looking for like a label situation, but more like a, probably like a partnership. Okay. Because th the thing is, I do a whole lot, so I'm, you know, I, I got a worth, I got a price tag, you right, know right, what right, I mean. Right, but right. Um, I understand the politics and everything like that, so I'm okay with it. But I, I really just want to be in a situation where people understand, you know, my my music and what I'm doing. Okay, I hear that. I hear that. So, um, top five uh, next five years next five years where you see yourself uh next five years um i want to basically be probably um have two albums and start putting out other artists okay damn it five years yeah because i, I mean it doesn't you know i look at i look at i look at the rap game or you know music in general just like i look at football because i like sports um, you know, you got a you got a short window. You know, you can keep going and going and going and going, but at at some point you wanna you wanna enter the business. And you know what? And that's one thing I think. Um, I think the game's kind of missing right now. Some female executives, like um, like that were artists at one point. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of female executives in the music industry, but none that really were artists. Right. And, well, you have some that. I know Call female execs, but I don't know any that were but artists. The ones that were artists, I mean, but you have some that were artists, like, you know, Missy and a couple other ones, but they didn't really, outside of Missy, Missy's the only one that actually put out a couple artists. She had to record right. and tweet. But outside of Missy, like, um, I can't think of an artist that was successful that any any of the other ones put out. I ain't going to start naming the names, but, you know, any of the other ones put I can't, out. I, I, I really honestly can't think of any outside of, maybe Left Eye, I think she had Black. That group black, yeah. But you know, being that you know she passed they, or whatever. Yeah, they, they, um, but I, I can't really think of anything <laughs> else. I can't really think of anything. Else. So you you would be right. So yeah, that's some, that's something games um, missing. So I mean, I think that would be dope if you could pull that off. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So I'm looking, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I, I'm looking forward to it because that that's not only you know that that's a, a passion I have because I I've, I like to write and I like to I like to do a lot of behind the scenes stuff because I do it for myself, you know. But I also I also think that um, a lot of a lot of what's missing is the fact that you don't have artist development, you don't have any type of direction. So mm -hmm. a lot of these artists are able to, you know, get a hit and you know pop, and then they're gone tomorrow, and that's because they don't have any type of direction. And a lot of people aren't really trying to take the time to do it either. So, so and that's a good point. Like when you talk about artist development, like where you as an artist, where are you getting your development from? I've got it since I was three. Good. Okay. Like my my dad used to literally drag me to um his performances. Right. And my mom used to be like, "She's a child. Why is she out this late?" Uh, so you so you pretty much <laughs> you saw all, all the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, uh, too much. <laughs> hey. Too much. Every, everything happens for a reason. Gets you to this point. Yeah. So um, what we're gonna do? We're gonna get into a couple of records, and okay. then, um, I want to thank you for coming out. Also, um, I want to give the world all your social media, let them know where they can get you at. So um, on Twitter, you can find me at DC Mika M I C C A, DC Mika. Um, on Instagram, it's the Real Mika. Again, it's M I C C A, the Real Mika. And on Facebook, it's Mika. Just M I C C A, Mika. All right. And what we're gonna do when we come back? We're gonna do something special. We call it uh, bars on demand so it's like a little uh freestyle session we want to hit them bars i mean we, we, we know you got them so i mean i've I seen the instagram i see i see you um spitting so we want we want to um get, get that and showcase that to the world so we go that's cool with you that's cool with me that's all right, cool all right so we're gonna come back with that um uh real quick just uh introduce your single and then we're gonna come back okay so again my name is mika and i want y'all to hear my single it's called mama hope you enjoy it Six six one shout to you and they keep it locked. DNA. DNA. 